Hey, welcome back to another PHP 2 class video. In this video, we're going to take a look at item number two here, which is to populate our database with some fake data. So in part one, I already showed you how to create the tables, and now we're going to fill them. So just briefly, let's take a look at what we created in the last video. I should have a table uh, structure that looks like this. And if I click on one of these, such as users, and I look for the browse button, I see that there's no data here. So our goal is to do some data. We're going to take a thousand names randomly from a website and fill this table. So the website I'm using is called Makaroo. And Makaroo is kind of a mock-up for web developers. And if you just start with their defaults here, you can see that they are going to create a bunch of data for you. And uh, let's, let's see what happens if we just click Preview. So you can see that they've already generated uh, usernames, last names, and IP addresses, and a bunch of other stuff. So you can see that's the table view. The CSV view it shows you that it's by commas. Let's close this, and let's go modify here. So we need to match the field names to the be uh, equal to the uh, database that we've created. So, so let's come back here to our uh, tables here. We're going to, first of all, be looking at the users table. So we'll fill in the users table with some fake data. So we need these fields, ID, first name, last name, username, role, and password. So first of all, using case sensitive names, we're going to copy these into Makaroo. So the ID has to be a capital ID. First name is also capitalized. And in my database, I have no spaces. So let's try last name. So the next item is called username. So how are we going to create that? The username, let's say, is going to be a combination of first name and last name. So let's put in username first of all. And instead of this type being email address, we're going to look through the options of what we can create as far as uh, fake data. Now, I am going to search through something and look for formula. So formula is here. It says you can compute a value based on data from other columns. That's, that's what I want to do. So I want to say, for instance, I want to make the username is first name plus last name. And let's uh, just leave it there. Let's, uh, let's delete these other two rows for a moment and let's do a preview. So uh, we have a problem here. Uh, let's see, please use field first name. So I didn't quite type it right, but that's good instruction there. Let's try that again. So let's see, instead of first name, I'm going to say field, quote, first name. And then the other is going to say last name. Let's see if that works now. So let's try a preview. And let's see, first name, last name combined together, give me the username. That looks pretty good. Let's check to see what else we're going to make. Um, I have a role. And so in my data dictionary, this would define as an integer from, I think it was one to four. So in my Makaroo, let's just randomly create some numbers here. So this is role. So instead of formula, let's see if we're, we have other options. So I think there was one in here called number. Here it is. Uh, let's see, number. And minimum, maximum, decimals. So I think this might work if I just say a random number between uh, 1 and 4. Let's do a preview on that. And it looks like rolls are getting random numbers between 1 and 4. So far, so good. Okay, the last is called a password. Okay, so let's create a password. And let's see what we can do for passwords. Oh, look at here. There's a field called password is a random string of 6 to 12 characters. Perfect. And so now we have a password created. So this is our Makaroo, and we're going to, first of all, save this schema. You can see I have an account, and so I can save my work. And let's go and try download the data. Okay, you can see mock data has been downloaded. Now we can import that back into our database. So let's come into our MAMP server, and we're going to do an import, and let's choose a file. I'm going to my downloads folder and mock data 5 is what I just created just right now and click open. With any luck this will work. Okay so we have a problem 
it says you have a duplicate entry number one for the primary key. So this guy didn't work. Let's see if the data got in. It certainly did. Uh, it looks like there was some confusion. Oh yeah, look at this. It used the first column as the uh, username. So let's, let's delete this row here. And we don't have a user number one, but it looks like the rest of them all worked. So now we have a thousand, I believe. Let's see. Let's go to the last row. And let's see, ID number 725. So does that appear to, we have a whole bunch of data. So it looks like that'll work. All right, so let's go to Makaroo and let's work on products again. So we have an ID, a product name, description and price. Let's see what we can do with that. So if you want to save this schema, you can do so. And we'll call this thing users. Save it. All right, so now I'm going to go to my schemas area. Let's see what I've created. I've got users here. It looks like I did addresses before. Let's create another one. Create a schema and this one's going to be for products. So let's go through. ID, product name, description, and price. So let's go with ID. That's a row number. And this was called product name, description, and price. And we don't need the others, so I shall delete those. So let's see. Description. Product name. So let's see if they have anything in here. I think they have something called product names. We could do animals, uh, anim animal scientific names. Uh, let's see, buzzwords, cars. We could do cars. Depends on what you want to sell here. So I am going to select something from like drugs. Okay, so let's do a drug name. And that will... Uh, create a bunch of random stuff. Now let's see, for description, I am going to look for random text. So let's see if there's anything under text. Okay, here we go. At the bottom it says words chosen randomly from lorem ipsum. So if you want to look up lorem ipsum and figure out what that is, it's Latin nonsense and it's just used for filler. So it says at least 10 words, no more than 20 words, there's no blank fields. That's good. So the price is going to be a random number now. So let's see if there is something under numbers. Numbers? Perfect. The minimum value and the maximum. Let's see, I want to have anything from five to a hundred dollars with two decimal places. And let's preview it. Okay, so I have a bunch of drug names, prices, and a description. This looks perfect. It'll work for me, so I'm going to save the schema and let's call this thing drug names and then we're going to download the data and import it into our file. So let's see, drug names has been downloaded. Let's go into our SQL server. We're in products here. We're going to import and choose the file that we just downloaded. So drug names is there and let's run it. Go. Looks like it says 1,001 queries have been done. So let's look in the products area and browse. Looks pretty good. I'm going to delete the first row because it is using the titles and I don't really need those. So we got ourselves a thousand different products now. Perfect. Okay, so the last thing we're going to look at is the addresses. So let's take a look here. We got a bunch of stuff here. And so our address is going to be a little different because it has a foreign key. So uh, what I'd like to do is generate a thousand uh, addresses for our, our, our company and then uh, match them to each user. So let's go into Makaroo here and let's go back and fill out these fields first. So we got address type is default. So we're going to see the, f so we're going to see the first one is address type. And I think this will work here with just the uh, formula option. So formula, I'm just going to put in a one. And the reason why I use one is because it's the default, a default address. And so I'm going to put a one in here because I think in my data dictionary it said address type was one equals a home address. So that's not going to be any different for our data right now. The next field is called the uh, is default. And I'm going to set that also to one because it's the default for everybody. If you want to create more than one, you can do that. but uh, we're only going to have one address per user for right now. So instead of uh, the next field called uh, price, we're going to call that thing 
user's ID. Okay, a little trickier now. So the user's ID has to match one of the users in our table. So I know that uh, I'm just going to use row number again. Let's see, row number. And so that way it'll match somebody in the table. Remember, this is just fake data, so if you get the wrong address, it's not going to be a big deal. Okay, what's next? We need to have the uh, street, city, state, and postal code. So we need street, and then city, state, and postal code. So these are all nicely defined for us. Let's go look at street here, see if there was something on street, street name, street address. Let's go with, let's go with the first one here. City, let's see if there's anything on cities. So city, sure enough, we have cities. State, let's see if we can find something on state. Could we use a, do you want to go worldwide or abbreviated uh, states here? I'm going to go with the first one. Postal code here. And let's see, postal code, perfect. And you can specify just uh, US locations if you want. You can uh, generate others from specific states. You got lots of details. So let's preview and see what our addresses look like. So we have a type one default user ID matches. We've got some stuff here. It doesn't look like uh, this is all working out like I want to. So let's come back here and generate only US stuff. And hopefully we got something there. That looks more like uh, good data. So let's go with that one. Let's export that and uh, we will then import it into our table. So, so the first thing here is let's, uh, let's rename this instead of drug names. Let's call this addresses. Okay, so I've renamed it as addresses and we'll save the changes. And then we can do uh, download the data. And you can see I have a download started here. Let's go back into MAMP and see if we can import this now. So we're into addresses, import, and choose the file. Let's go find our downloaded file and go. And we might have an error. Yes, we do. It says you have a child row issue. So some number didn't work out, but I believe we have pretty good match here. So yeah, so the ID of the address seems to match the user's ID. So this is going to work when we do our uh, import of our searching of users. So that will work well. Okay, so that kind of brings us to the end of our uh, creating users table. Um, I've created a products table and some addresses, and now we're ready to go and do some coding.